It is my opinion that a belief system that is based off of empathy, logic, and reason is better than a belief system that is based off of the traditions of old books. It's my opinion, because from their opinions, they usually think, you know, the other way around. But which is more provable? Well, the one that uses logic and reason. But if you remove any one of those things, empathy, logic, or reason, um, you have a pile of crap. Now, someone may say, well, you, you know, do you have proof that your way is better? And well, I'd certainly have proof that basing things off of uh, old religious books uh, has a lot of negative side effects. And I can show this throughout history. And recently I've had people say to me, well, you know, have you ever considered that maybe they were right when it comes to the, uh, uh, the religious methods? Well, as far as how to approach an issue or approach a problem, especially social problems, if they're right, then they would come to the same conclusion as logical and rational conclusions. So the truth is there are a huge variety, almost unlimited variety in ways that we can be governed, whether it's, you know, via the actual government, whether it's via socially, whether it's for a lot of reasons. We can, ha we can be governed in a, an almost unlimited different ways. There are obviously going to be some things that we pretty much agree on. And we can use empathy, logic, and reason to come to the same exact conclusion. There are some other things that it's really not so much. Now, if we can come together on the things that we do agree on, the things that the traditional beliefs and the logical, rational, and empathetic way of looking at others um, have in common, you know, that's great. Let's, let's do that if we can. But there are some areas that are so divergent from logic and rationality that I'm sorry, I'm just, I no, I'm not going to consider that. That's basically saying, well, have you ever considered this just because? <laughs> well, just because. Well, you know, it's worked for a, a, a long time. Some elements of that work for that work, have worked for a long time, and there's also these really, really negative side effects from it. Well, you know, ha have you ever considered that those side effects are, are uh, uh, well, that's just the way it is. So you're basically telling me, well, have you ever thought that, that this, this over here is the correct thing just because... You know, just just think about you know how 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 so just because it is right. I mean, it's the ultimate in just because. So so why don't you consider this just because? No, <laughs> just no. I'm not. Parents try to do this to their kids quite a bit, or a lot of parents, I should say, do this to their kids quite a bit. You know, their kid wants to know why something, and it essentially the answer ends up just being, well, just because. Or could be, uh, it's the equivalent of, because I said so. You know, either one of those. One of them is, is a lot more uh, uh, kind of totalitarian in nature, or authoritarian. And it is that type of thing that a number of religious people out there of a lot of different beliefs will use and will even make it a guilt trip sort of thing. Well, you know, believe this just because otherwise, you know, also will guilt trip you. Say that you're a bad person unless you believe this way. Often being some sort of guilt trip of, uh, well, you know, if you don't uh, believe in what I believe, then something bad is going to happen to you. So I find it highly annoying when someone tells me, well, you know, have you ever considered this? And essentially they say, just because? Yeah, I, you know, I don't react well to that. But instead of just saying, fuck you, um, I'm making a video about it, explaining things just a little bit more. 
So, 